What up, y'all? My name is Chastity Caprice. We're at Day Summit, and I'm here with Elo, founder of Do It For The Youth. Can you tell me a little bit about Do It For The Youth? What do you guys do? Absolutely. So Do It For The Youth is basically help families that are, you know, in for, uh, financial hardships, excuse me, that are in financial hardships and help their kids get enrolled into sports or further activities that apply registration fees. So the fund is called um, No Child Turned Away Fund, and that fund is donation-based, and it's by the community, for the community, for the youth, by the youth as well. What was your inspiration for this idea, for this program? So it's basically more, more related. Um, my mom is a mother of five, so I got to understand and, under, and see firsthand what it was like to have five children, trying to get them involved in so many different curricular activities. My mom was only one person, so she couldn't be in all those places at one time. So I know it was like for these kids to feel that they were, they were not supported enough, or they feel that they were, you know, fully you know, engaged into the community or engaged into to any curricular activities that can enhance their talents or enhance their skills, um, enhance their knowledge in any means. Um, so I got to be so related to that, I was like, you know what, let's do something. Right. Let's do something about that. Let's be that, that, that example. Let's start that new trend that how this generation speaks on so highly about. Um, but that motivated me to build this fund, to, be, to meet these parents halfway that are going through these hardships so they can get a better understanding that there's hope out there, there's faith out there, and there's someone out there that cares for your youth as well. Right. And where are you based at with this program? So I am in Pennsylvania, and I basically relate to a lot of the children that are in Allentown, PA. I am I do reside in Longport, PA, but my mission is to basically reach out to children that are in these financial hardships, that are in these obstacles where they feel they're left out, where they feel that the opportunities are not being uplifted in their areas, and because of they're not financially fit, I feel like they're missing out on a lot, of, a lot of things. So being into doing for the youth, I give those opportunities and I let these kids be seen, heard, and understood. And that's my main focus. Can you give me some examples of um, how you've gotten your children engaged with your program? Absolutely. So right now we are basically, we started our flag season. So I have a lot of kids enrolled into flag football and with the Central Catholic Mini Vikings. And I have a lot of first timers that right now, are loving it. They have their first game tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning in Allentown, PA, in Percy Group Park, and it's just to see them, the, the 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 their faces, to see how their their energy has changed, their perspective has changed. That there is more out there. There's more out there that these kids can be engaged on as long as it's being introduced, right. as long as it's being welcomed. That you can be a part of that as well. Right. Every child deserves an opportunity. Every child deserves a chance, and it should not be taken away because they're not financially fit. Right. So because of this No Child Turned Away Fund, it gives them that opportunity and that platform to give them that limelight to be seen, to get a first hand, how we call it, get their feet wet. And in these ages where they're 13, 14, 15, they're in that transition age. That transition age, trying to figure out what you want to do, what do you love to do, what do you like to do, what's going to be a career, right. what's going to be a path that you're going to see in the future that you're going to be like, oh, I didn't even think I could, I, I could be a pro at this. Right, right. So, and it's not only football, we're talking about basketball, baseball, soccer, anything that these kids can get their hands on, I feel like there should be a platform to give them that opportunity. And Do It For The Youth gives them that platform. Every child deserves a chance. No child should be turned away due to financial hardships.